am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Well, hello everybody. What is going on? It's the Almighty Jeff here with the second series on this channel. And as I promised, it is Red Dead Redemption, and in my opinion, the greatest Rockstar creation ever. Now, if you follow followed me in my original playthrough on my first channel, you'd know that I didn't actually finish this game. Um, I got about halfway, more like three quarters of the way through New Mexico. Sorry, no, Paraiso. And, yeah, and definitely I intend to finish it this time, and I need to, because if I don't, Mon will probably kill me. Um, so we're starting out as John Marston, and we've just arrived at Armadillo Station. Now, if you've not played Red Dead, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption, I definitely recommend that you do, because it's definitely one of those games that you must play. It's, def it's one of those classics that will forever be remembered as one of the best. Um, this guide is going to cover all of the gold medal requirements for every mission, but they are very difficult to obtain, so I will probably be getting them off camera and then explain how I got them in the episode afterwards. Um, usually they have a time requirement which we will never obtain if we watch the cutscenes, which we will be doing for the sake of the story. But. Um, we need to go to the saloon for our first objective.
must be John Marvel. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friend from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Alrighty there, Jake. Let's go. Best of this mission, Exodus in America, it's literally just following Jake along to Fall well, Mercy. Mercy. you want to visit? <clears throat> That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Know what you do fight about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Yeah, this, this mission generally is just kind of an introduction to the story. Are you planning on spending so, any time in Armadillo, Mr. Mark? Kind of explaining why he's come to I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Line as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? It's just a shame he's only in this mission because this guy is hilarious. So. Yeah! Oh, um, well, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right! I'll explain more into what we're actually going to be doing in this walkthrough once we get this mission over yeah, with. Yeah. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just <coughs> chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Give me up. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we park ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> All right. Seems like a Pretty dangerous thing to do. Yeah. But whatever. Slow it up now. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you! 
Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well? Uh, oh. <laughs> Poor John. Well, that went pretty well. E, that should have killed him. But nope, because what is a game without a protagonist? Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. The cost was $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll 
bear that in mind. Alrighty, so that's our first safe house at McFarlane's ranch. There are a total of four, I believe, in New Austin. Um, one's in Thieves Landing, one's in Armadillo, one's in Rathskeller Fork. Actually, I think that's it. Um, so, we're going to go speak to Bonnie. This is Marshall, the first thing back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. So the first f few missions we're going to be doing in this game are going to revolve around um, Bonnie and doing some work around her ranch. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on then, I'll show you around the property. So this mission is kind of used to um, adapting you to some of the basic controls, such as, well, this this part of the mission anyway, showing you around the ranch, and the second part of the mission, which comes a little bit later on, is more adapt more teaching you how to shoot and use your dead eye meter. But we'll go more into that when it comes to it. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. There is tons to do in this game. It's a complete sandbox. For the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Control to me, please. Um, it's not as big as a sandbox as games like GTA 5. That's understandable. Um, but there are quite a bit of things to do with missions. That's there the barn are a lot over of. there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Um, stranger missions, challenges, and um, weapons on, to collect. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. And um, bounties, well, treasure, stuff like that. There is quite a lot of things to be doing, and we're going to make sure we take care of all of it. But that'll start to kind of fall into place as we're playing through. Mm -hmm. Cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We best I'm gonna get moving. Try it's a dangerous time of night for us. <clears throat> stick to the same kind of schedule that I did in my original playthrough. Because I did manage to kind of keep everything in moderation and did absolutely everything possible in every Let's area go. for keep a your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. So I spent a significant more most amount of time in New Austin rather than in Nueva Preso because there were so many things Thank that I could have done Marston. either. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Um, but doing that, 
obviously meant that um, the other parasol was significantly easier and I had much less to do. And seeing as NA is the biggest of three areas and has the longest story, like the most missions in it, means that can actually If you're not really happy with animal violence, this isn't really the sort of game you want to be playing. There's a lot of hunting. Hunting's a big element of this game. Of to cover. And will be a big part of this guide, so if that's not your cup of tea, I do apologize. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Yeah, but NA is, has a lot of wildlife, which means that you can actually get a decent way through the challenges. So here's um, the game introducing you to Dead Eye. So. Statistics for the gold medal. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. This is me. Whoa there. Oh, chill out, chill out, chill out. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Yep, this is just introducing us to the bed, which will advance time if you want it to be daytime. Like it says, um, six hours. So, and the um, trunks contain extra ammo as well, like it says. So, let's check it out. Yeah, so those are the, the fame and honor meeting are also quite important when it comes to, like, extra abilities. Um, having a higher fame will always happen. There is no other way of doing it as you go throughout the game your fame will rise and I managed to get mine to fill like, relatively early on into an ever pray so honour is different it can go one way or the other depending on how you play your game um, I'm going to be getting positive honour so making sure that we get the best honour by doing good deeds and stuff like that but if you're feeling a bit more evil you can go for the negative honour which means you'll be more like respected by villains and enemy gangs and stuff like that, well, just gang members in general, but um, the general public will respect you a lot more if you have positive honour and you'll get discounts in shops and stuff like that and I think you actually get a crucifix or something that's from a nun and I think that like stops some bullets or something like that. Um, I'll show you through all of the menus, we've got the map showing this massive area up here this is all um, New Austin this relatively large but smaller area down here this is Never Pareto and up here is West Elizabeth we are right here in Henniganstead at McFarland's Ranch as you can see there's the next um, Bonnie mission and Armadillo that's where we came in 
that's where that's the saloon where we met Jake and there's the train and all these areas are different kind of districts throughout New Austin and these are filled with different locations and stuff like that of the weapons um, it's not it doesn't tell you how many weapons you have but I've got like a checklist that I personally made myself which includes everything that I need for the completionist 100% basically and to get the platinum trophy which we will be getting as well um, there are a few trophies that I do already have and that's because I obtained them during my original playthrough because I'm playing on the same account um, we should have actually got if it will just load up um, that government boy that's the trophy what I got for completing the first mission um, I do actually own all of the DLC for this game um, every piece that's missions undead nightmare um, game of the year edition stuff like that it comes to outfits there are I think there are less if you just have the base game with none of the DLC stuff like the expert hunter and savvy merchant those are added on by DLC but we will still be getting them anyway um, we'll end up obtaining these throughout our guide the journal we won't be using that much it just kind of goes over what we've been doing and like if you need information on something that we're doing this is where we'll go for it uh, the challenges section we will be using because this will store each of our four challenges um, which is like hunting sh sharpshooter treasure hunting and plant collecting so those will all appear in this section it'll tell us what we need to up upgrade to the next rank strangers this this section will store stranger missions that we've not finished and um, so that either are in progress or have numerous parts and that we can't finish at the moment um, just showing you my options everything should be good yeah everything should be right on see it says all the cheats here but we're not going to be using any of those stats again we are 2.6% into the game already which is pretty good um, this just kind of shows all the stuff we'll be going more into detail through all this new friends or problems and access in America these are two missions we've done today and as you can see the, the color of a medal on the side we did pretty terrible in access in America but that's because we watched the cutscenes and I did have that period of time at the start where I just stood still but you've got to really rush for these requirements because they usually are quite brutal new friends or problems you need accuracy and time I think the shot accuracy needs to be actually at 100% and a lot of missions are like that, so yeah, you gotta be pretty devoted to doing it. Stranger missions, this will store the ones that we have finished, like completely. Um, crimes, I'm not doing any of these really. Collectibles, stuff like that. Multiplayer, we might do a few episodes on this at the end of the series, but I'm not sure. Social club, this will because I mean each there are gang hideouts within this game that you can wipe, uh, that you can clear out but they will respawn and each has some social club challenges tied to it but you need to actually clear it once for them to pop up a little pee at the end there um, so we'll get to these eventually there are also an extra two that are related to I think one is like sharpshoot on top of a train and another one's due to poker in black water or something but we'll do those as well and last but not least we have a game where it just it's just load new and main menu really but um, I'll like kind of explain new things as we get into it but first of all let's save our game get some sleep Or do I keep doing that at the end? But, anywho, we'll leave it here for today, people, and we'll get back to it soon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.